Hey fam, my name is Akira and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is another lip gloss review. That's basically all this channel is at this point. So no introduction needed and let's get right into the video. So today's lip gloss is from a company called Deja Monet Cosmetics. She reached out to me on Instagram and just for reference, she reached out on May 22nd and I responded to her on June 1st. So um, for those of you wondering, I don't respond to your DM until I have the time to make your video. So either the week I reach out to you, you'll see your video or the following week. Um, just to let you know, I'm not ignoring anybody. I just don't want to say, yeah, I'll review your stuff and then you're not here from me for a month or two, you know? Um, so anyway, she reached out to me. Um, and basically said the usual um she told me her name she told me that she is the owner of deja monet collections now she does say collections on here but like her tubes in the pictures say cosmetics so i'm not really sure which one it is um but you can find her i'll put her instagram in the description box she told me that she's a new business and that she wanted me to try her gloss so when i reached out to her i said hey if you still want to send me some gloss um let me know i'd love to try it um, so she shipped it out to me. Um, I'll put the tracking information cause I do have a tracking number for it. It says that USPS was in possession of the item on June 3rd. Um, on June 6th, it arrived at the regional destination and on June 8th, I received it. So it wasn't um, bad shipping time at all. It took about five days to get here and that's including weekends um so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this let's get right into the gloss this is how the gloss came in this pink bubble mailer with the fragile sticker this is her logo right up here on that sticker um on the back is the shipping labels um which has my address on it which i did scratch out but you know ain't no point showing y'all something that could potentially you know disclose where i live um, so yeah, this is how it came. Let's cut it open with my scissors. I don't think we discussed what I was going to get. Yeah, we didn't discuss what I was gonna get, so this is just as much a surprise to me as it is to you. So let's have a look. Okay, so first, on top, you got the pink filler let's go for the papers first okay so this is i assume oh a thank you card so it says thank you for shopping we carefully inspect every order to ensure it is the best quality if you have any questions or concerns please email us at in her email save money on your next order with the little code shop snap and slay tag us in your photo for a chance to be featured on our website and instagram and it has her instagrams on here okay cute so that's her thank you card there's the back all right that's cute is there any more paper in here yes there is oh it's a little note Hey, thank you for reviewing our lip gloss. The lip gloss colors you have is chocolate, purple glam, bubble gum, and diamond. And then she gives me her Instagram, which I have. Um, her website, um, she says her squeeze tubes cost $5.99 and her wand tubes cost $6.99. And then she just signed it. That's cute, I love notes. I keep these on my bulletin board. Like I recently cleaned off my bulletin board to keep all of these thank you notes and business cards and stuff because I really, I I respect the effort that goes into making them. All right, cool. So I got, let's see, let's see. So here's how the gloss comes. Super cute. You can never go wrong with an organza bag. Let's see if there's anything else in here. No, just more packaging. Okay, cool. Look at this, four glosses, y'all. Look at me, big baller. All in wand tubes, of course, because I love me some wand tubes. So let's take them out. Okay, okay. 
I'm gonna say right off the bat, I really like these tubes. Um, they're very unique. They're not the basic, you know, silver or gold or the basic like soft pink. They're really unique. All right, okay. So let me see the names. So they're not named on the glosses themselves, but she sent me a note that says what they are. So I'm assuming this is chocolate, which I love me a good brown gloss. Okay, purple glam. Bubble gum. And diamond. Wow, okay. So, Right off the bat, I will say I really like the labeling. Um, although you can't really see it, like straight up, you cannot see it at all on the darker glosses. So that's one thing I would say is I would suggest making like a white version of the label to go on these because it's a really cute label. It's a cute, nice um, logo. So I, I would love to be able to see it on these. Um, but it's whatever. Um, yeah. Ooh, which one do I want to start with? Ooh, I don't know. Mm, so many options. I'm gonna go with diamond because I like drop tested. <laughs> Still good. Okay, I'm gonna go with diamond because it's basically a clear gloss with glitter, which I think is one of the easier ones to make. So I would guess this is the best representation of her formula, but I actually have past cosmetics gloss on right now. So let me take that off. So there we go, Lips Sans Gloss. And let's open it up. So far, so good. Very clean packaging. Okay, there's definitely a scent. I'm not sure what the scent is, but it's really familiar, like kind of sweet, kind of peppermint-like, like it might be straight up peppermint. I don't know, it's something. Not really sure how I feel about it yet, but let's try the gloss. good feeling gloss like the formula so far is pretty good um i will say the applicator is smaller than i like i had to dip in about four or five times to get like full coverage glossiness it's definitely peppermint it must be like an essential oil or something i don't know it's definitely peppermint though because now that it's on my lips like as i was putting it on i could smell it a little bit better so it is peppermint it does have slight tingles not burning or anything and just slight tingles um but yeah so this is it so far mm, it's okay so far but per usual i'm gonna uh, wear it for the day i will come back and give y'all my final thoughts later oh yeah y'all just don't understand this heat <sighs> it's 240 right now <laughs> 90 degrees outside that's louisiana weather for you watch tonight it's gonna be like 75 oh but anyway this is the lip gloss in natural light it's been on maybe 20 minutes it's still feeling good it's still feeling nice and moisturized it's still looking good you can see the glitter better in real life, like, yeah, you can see the glitter better in real life. Um, 
but yeah just because i feel like it i'm about to blot off this gloss and i i just kept it in the organza because honestly if you don't have this many glosses it's really like convenient to have the organza because you can just leave it in there and toss it in your bag and it's really easy to find and you don't have lip loose lip gloss all over your bag but let's try chocolate because i love me a brown gloss like what was it called um from lpd i keep forgetting lpd collections is now called kim collections i think that's how you pronounce it but that gloss called nubia i want to say is like my standard of what a brown gloss should be so hopefully this is just as good So all of that other gloss, uh, diamond, all of the diamond gloss is pretty much off now that I rubbed it off. Like there's still a little bit left. It, my lips are very moisturized right now. I will say that. But yeah, let's try chocolate just because I love me a brown gloss. And also it's easier to see when it fades than a clear gloss. So let's put this thing on. That is so weird looking, y'all. Maybe this is me. I just think it's funny how brown gloss don't always, can y'all see that? Doesn't always like completely color the bristles. Um, but there you go. That's how much gloss you get um, on the applicator when it first comes out. So let's try it. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Ooh, ooh, I can really see the difference a little bit more on camera, but I'm gonna put on a little bit more because I never know when to stop. Ooh. Okay, so initial thoughts about chocolate is I like it. However, it has not replaced Nubia simply because this is a more cool tone brown and I'm more of a warm tone brown kind of person, but it looks good. That's a, that's, that's some pigment, y'all. So if you like you some cool tone brown gloss, you can try some chocolate. The scent is different. It might be coconut, maybe coconut or vanilla or it might be chocolate I don't know um it's pleasant though and that's all that matters so yeah I'm about to go run some errands get some food with my boyfriend and yeah I'll check in later hmm. okay so it's been about 30 minutes and the gloss is still going strong I will say the like cool toneness of this gloss kind of accentuates the dark corners of my mouth. So next time I wear it, I'll probably like tap some concealer in that area. But other than that, it's going strong. Still nice and glossy, still nice and pigmented. Um, I haven't done anything, haven't eaten anything. I haven't really talked much because I just picked up my boyfriend. So this whole time I've been in the car, um, but yeah. 30 minute check in okay so it is hours later obviously my lip gloss is completely gone i've ate i've talked i've done all kinds of stuff so the lip gloss i will say it took about after i ate there was still a little bit of pigment left um but like the nice glossiness obviously was gone um 
so yeah i think i'm gonna try another color right now because i got four of them so i think i'm gonna put on another color right now so i've tried diamond and i've tried chocolate so let's try let's try bubble gum nice pink we're gonna place you in the tripod so let's try bubble gum So it's looking good. I actually really like this one and this bubblegum scent is very pleasant. So yeah, it is now 7.28 p.m. and I guess when I'll come back, I'll give you my final thoughts on the gloss. All right, <clears throat> all right, I'm back to give you my final thoughts on the Deja Monet Collections gloss. So right now I am wearing Purple Glam and I've decided this one is my favorite. It has the most pleasant scent. All the formulas are the same. I will say that all the formulas are the same, so it is very consistent. But this one is my favorite scent and the slight purple color, you probably can't even tell it's there, but I like the slight purple coloring. Um, I'm gonna just give you my opinion on all four colors right now. Um, purple Glam, love it, it's a banger, that's my favorite. Um, bubble gum is pretty good. Also, very pleasant scent and nice light color, almost clear, really. Um, diamond, it's good coverage, nice gloss. I'm just kind of iffy on the peppermint because it's not as minty as I would prefer. It's sweeter than I would prefer when it comes to my peppermint, but it is still a very good gloss, nice sparkle. Um, and yeah, it's really good clear gloss. And chocolate, chocolate's the only one I'm iffy on. I really did like it, um, but chocolate is one that I think I would need to do my makeup first, just cause I feel like it makes these dark corners of my mouth, which I don't really mind the dark corners of my mouth. I mean, it is what it is. That's just part of who I am. But I don't really wanna wear this to accentuate it. Um, which is why I guess I tend to lean more warm tone with my browns. Um, but it's still good gloss, nice smell, good coverage. This one has the most pigment. Um, but yeah, so if you like a cool, cool tone brown, this will be your best friend. I'm just kind of iffy on it. So these are definite, well, let's see. These are definite loves and these are like, eh. But overall, the formula, which is the most important part, is very good. It's nice, not too thick, not too thin. Um, it does take a minute to build it up to like the amount of shine that I personally like. Um, but if you have smaller lips or you don't want as much shininess or whatever like that, um, then you won't have to dip in as many times. And it's just a matter of packaging um, just because the doe foot it's pretty small and it doesn't pick up a lot of gloss um every time but it's fine i still reach for it um and yeah it's really pretty shipping did not take too long um the owner of the company was very nice and professional yeah i don't really have much to say on this gloss like in general it's a pretty good gloss like it's a nice formula the only thing i would change if i were her was in the future um looking look into packaging that allows more product out at once but other than that i think she's doing pretty good um oh and for your darker glosses try to get a version of your label that you can see on here because this gloss basically looks blank um which is not a problem if all of your gloss glosses are going to be blank but it's kind of funny seeing a label on this one and then nothing on this one you know even though i know it is there so yeah that's all i have to say about this video 
Um, if you like this type of video, let me know in the comments, leave me a like. Um, if you would like to be featured on this channel, um, keep a lookout. I'm gonna put up a video on, you know, how I pick um, what companies to review. So with that being said, like this video. Um, I will put Deja Monet's website and Instagram in the bio. Um, my social medias are always in the bio. So subscribe, tell your mom to subscribe, your brother, your sister, your cats, your dogs, everybody to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.